Um, all right. So, look, folks, I just want to say the um, that when I think about why America is great, this is part of the reason. <laughs> because there are people out there. David Rubin's probably never going to um, put himself in a situation where we're going to be able to have a conversation, um, I suspect, although, you know, who knows. Uh, but um, increasingly, people are out there, uh, and it's not just, I want to make this clear, I don't think it's just empty trolling. The bottom line is the New York Times will go and write a piece touting uh, this guy as a member of a secret society or of some group of intellectuals, the, um, the uh, intellectual dark web. Now, um, it's absurd that the idea that what they're saying has no uh, opportunity to be heard. It is um, across the board. It's extremely well-funded. Uh, it is also, he is saying stuff, all of these people are saying stuff that has been said for decades and in some instances even longer <laughs> um, in this country. None of it's new. It has all been aired. Um, people know that there's an idea out there that there's something wrong with Islam. Or people know uh, out there that there's something wrong with the idea of, or the idea that, um, it, you know, um, the patriarchy should not be um, in any way um, disassembled. Uh, people know out there that um, uh, the idea that, you know, um, certain uh, people can be uppity or uh, specific or offended by, you know, being uh, in, in some way subjugated. Those ideas are not new. You don't need to go to the dark web to find them. They exist all around us. Offline, too, even. And so the beauty of people trolling Dave Rubin in a way that shows that he's completely hypocritical. That for all the talk about all of these new ideas that they want to get out there, they are all incredibly cloistered. For all the, the you know, the stuff that a Steven Crowder does when he goes out and says, you know, change my mind. I'm actually talking to the people. Just so happens I'm cutting it up in such a way that I find uh, the people who are the least informed and, uh, you know, or maybe people who are in college have a class to go to. Right. Um, so when people troll these guys, it is funny and it is, you know, but it also, uh, it is, it, it casts a, um, a light on the fact that they're full of crap. So <clears throat> here's Dave Rubin on his much ballyhooed signing off of Patreon. And, uh, you know, he's a martyr for doing this because he's not he's signing off and he actually had to build his own payment system. Man, that's just like what Gandhi did. Right. What a martyr this guy is that, for the cause. That was the sort of march. Exactly. I'm signing off Patreon and actually just investing in my company with the hundreds of thousands of dollars I probably got from the Koch brothers to develop a payment system that uses a back end that is probably owned by the same people as Patreon or whatever. Um, and I get less of a, of a cut taken out. Wow. But here he is uh, going on his uh, live broadcast to do that with an ask me anything. Now, I want to be clear. You can ask him anything, but he won't necessarily answer anything. Here he is. Uh, hey, Dave, this is a very brave move on your part. Kudos. Have you heard about the SJW nonsense? On the, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't even care about those guys. Does, it really just, just honestly doesn't matter. Uh, viva la free speech. Good luck, Dave. Fuck you, Patreon. All right, I'm reading these live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think? are. No, it's interesting <laughs> how he <laughs> he's reading them live, so he can't be held responsible for anything that comes out of his mouth. But he just showed us that he has the ability to ignore a question and like read in advance as to what it's saying and not answer it. Why don't you just run to your safe space, Dave? It, no kidding. The old man. Now, but. 
what was he talking about? Somebody said kudos. And if you heard about the SJW at the what? Sounds good so far. Oh, yeah. We're going to find out. Um, here is, uh, and who is this by? I can't. This is uh, Brian McAllister. Brian McAllister, apparently. It was his buddy who. who oh, no. I don't know if it was we, his buddy. Oh, um, it, well, he was aware of, of what happened in this chat. And so uh, play this. Any, I don't have any lime or salt or anything. We'll figure that out. Uh, hey, Dave, this is a very brave move on your part. Kudos. Have you heard about the SJW nonsense on the... Uh, nonsense on the... Uh, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't even care about those guys. Does, it really just, just honestly doesn't matter. Interesting. <laughs> Competition would start kicking in. <laughs> oh man, I don't have any salt or anything. We'll figure that out. Uh, so the uh, the question was, um, have you heard about those? Hey Dave, have you a very brave move on your part? Kudos. Have you heard about the SJW nonsense on the Majority Report, where they keep challenging you to a debate? Should have Sam on and totally destroy him in the battle of ideas. Proceeds could go to charity. <laughs> that was uh, we should note that was a hundred dollar a super yeah. chat. a hundred dollar super chat. And then he had a couple other $5 ones where he was like, debate Sam Cedar, debate Sam Cedar. And then he asked if P was stored in the balls. Uh, <laughs> and so a lot of people uh, made mixes of this. And uh, here's another. And look, I encourage all of you to go pass these individual ones around and post them so these guys get some hits on this. Um, this is this Bailey is Steen. Yeah, this is a uh, Curb Your Liberalism, Dave Rubin Dodges Sam Cedar debate. This social justice warrior disease will come for all of us one day. First off, I thank you guys that are all jumping in on Super Chat, and I know that's a cool way of getting your voice heard, and I'm reading them all right here. We're not censoring any of this nonsense. Oop. Um, We're not censoring, <laughs> censoring, censoring, censoring. Great! Uh, hey, Dave, this is a very brave move on your part. Kudos. Have you heard about the SJW nonsense on the... Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't even care about those guys. It, does, it really just it honestly doesn't matter. Uh, viva la free speech. Good luck, Dave. <laughs> I hadn't seen that one. That was good. Give him the third one. All right, let's oh, do the let's third one. Let's just do one. the third one. <laughs> oh, this is a oh, progressive voice. It doesn't get oh, much. No, that was a, no, I mean, that, these are all great, but that one is really a work yeah, of art. I watched it like 10 times. Not get, uh, does not get um, uh, less mature than this, folks. Um, here is a uh, progressive voice. Uh, did uh, Dave Rubin is scared of Sam Cedar. <laughs> uh, hey, Dave, this is a very brave move on your part. Kudos. Have you heard about the SJW nonsense on the... Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't even care about those guys. Does It really just, just honestly doesn't matter. Uh, viva la free speech. Good luck, Dave. Fuck you, Patreon. All right, I'm reading these live. <laughs> Nasby. what you people are doing what are you people doing you're all fighting with each other saying horrible things to each other often the, the ones that amaze me the most though i really mean this and i just glanced for literally like literally 30 seconds i didn't watch and it's like I there's all these it. people that seemingly don't like me in this comment section and i don't care if you don't like me i actually don't but yeah. what i would say to you is what are you doing with your life uh, get off this channel what, what are you doing if you don't like me go find something to do Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> a sad song for you. I'm the world's smallest violin. It's a lobster. Oh, my God. <laughs> Consider the lobster man. Oh, my God. Good work, everybody. Oh. Good work. Some I would, really I would work. send Dave some very 
very polite. I always say be polite to people. Don't be, you know, insulting. Absolutely. But be polite. Be straight up. But I would ask some very good follow-up questions about this to him on all of his various platforms. The original question set him up so perfectly because, like, say you're brave, taking on these SJW nonsense, and then just go seamlessly right into it. I think even, like, I mean, if I was to do something like this, I might even go with, like, hey, you know, Dave, I know it's really annoying, uh, but, you know, it probably would be great just to debate Sam Cedar, just to clear this up. <laughs> I think you, I mean, it will probably, take him. yeah, I, I mean, I think it'll be a little frustrating, but I mean, obviously we have total confidence in your ideas and your ability to articulate yourself. I, I, I really, I mean, I don't know if we have the ability to do this, but maybe we should set up some type of reverse payment system that will subsidize the super chats. <laughs> And, a and, matching contribution. And speaking of which, though, I, I certainly I don't know how Super Chat works, but D- uh, Dave, uh, give that guy a refund. Well, that is what I that was the one thing that I tweeted out. I, like, it appears he got a refund, actually. Oh, he did. Yeah. Okay, but, uh, from uh, good, good, good. from I don't Dave? know if he revoked it or if Dave gave him a refund, but somehow uh, Dave did not get that money. Okay, All right. Good. Well, if that's, that's the case, let Dave me just say the is under the bargain. Let me just say. Uh, that if that's the case, I think that shows a lot of integrity, and I promise I will on Twitter make a correction and say that I think it shows a lot of integrity for Dave Rubin to refund that person who asked about debating me when Dave didn't want to talk about it. And then I just, I just want to say, Dave, for that I do uh, respect you for that tiny, tiny thing. I, you have my respect. I don't. I have zero respect, but uh, well, nonetheless, good thing to do. Uh, freedom of speech. I don't have the ability to. Uh, I, and I am still quite sore, frankly, <laughs> that if we go into the history of these things, that I was literally silent. Well, don't don't uh, my... step on the uh, the documentary that will probably be made about this. And that was when Sam came in and told me my free street speech was being suppressed on behalf of a self-proclaimed were, yeah. free speech warrior. Yeah. Disgusting. That's like... He's like a, like a reverse, uh, like uh, SJW. Like I can't. No, he's what well, he is. He's well, like look, a so censor listen, in China. So not only we just um, uh, we just played a clip of people responding uh, to Dave Rubin's inability to articulate the words "the majority report" and debate Sam Cedar on his uh, AMA. I don't know. We're not sure. If it's a medical condition that prevents him from saying it or what, because he um, he did announce that he was not going to censor any of the questions. Um, But with that said, uh, it's not just Dave's uh, listeners who are revolting about um, his inability to uh, to answer all questions and to have actually a um, a real debate um, with non classical liberals. on uh, TYT, was this last night? Which show was this on? I think this was on, on the, the main, main, sh- on main, the main show, show last night. And and uh, I just, yeah, well, can I just say, I, I love Anna Kasparian, our friend's progression from a very sincere, this is a guy I used to work with, and it's so disappointing to see him become this just absolutely immoral shill to him, to her going to like, like she said on my show this week, well, Dave's a simpleton. Right. Here's, uh, here's John Idirola and uh, Anna Kasparian. If you support Bolsonaro and can't pronounce Bolsonaro, don't talk about politics, okay? I think that's pretty yeah. safe. He had no idea how to say the man's name, but supported his fascist agenda for Brazil. And, anyway. And if you're interested in um, talking about ideas or maybe even, I don't know, uh, experimenting or exploring with new ideas, don't be so afraid to debate Sam Cedar. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Yeah, just putting that out there. You know, maybe spread it to him. You know, maybe maybe do that. <laughs> there Yo, you go. there you go. Our friend, John and Anders. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, dummy now, Dave, folks. I, dummy Dave. And I think John would also probably agree that even if you can um, uh, pronounce Bol- 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 Bolsonaro. 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 <laughs> Even if you can uh, pronounce uh, Bolsonaro, uh, you should probably also not support uh, his fashion. Yeah, policies. probably not. And also, especially if like your big get out card for every single despicable thing you've ever said 
and supported and promoted is I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't support like potentially the most overtly anti-gay head of state in the Western I Hemisphere. I think that shows just even on a self-interest a level. A lot of tolerance. Right. <laughs> Well, I mean, both scenarios ideas that people like. He, oh. would pre- he would prefer to have his son be hit by a car than be gay. And, Ruben, you know, I don't same, need to shut down his idea. Having the same conversation you had with Ben Shapiro, like, would you come to my? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm having a party with my partner to celebrate our anniversary. So, uh, Gyro, would you come to my anniversary party? Like, well, no, I will take your support uh, for killing indigenous people on YouTube, but uh, I'm afraid I cannot go to your birthday to your uh, anniversary party. It's against my mo- my values. Ooh, okay. Uh, both sides in a row. It's so great that we could exchange these ideas. Um, let's just do this one.